Chris McCullough from Brooklyn Nets, from the Bronx. But shout out to Cassie through the lens right here. With the 29th pick in the 2015 NBA Draft, the Brooklyn Nets select Chris McCullough from Syracuse University. Describe the feeling you had hearing your name called at the NBA Draft. Man, I can't even describe that. Let me see, what I'm trying to think of a SAT word. <laughs> I can't even describe one, but it was a, it's a great feeling. Just to hear my name being called, my hometown, walking across that stage and shaking the commission's hand. It was, it was the best feeling. You're the first player from New York on the Brooklyn Nets, right? Yeah. So what is that like? It's, a, it's an amazing feeling. Being the first player ever drafted to the hometown team, it's a great feeling. It's a great opportunity for me. Can yeah. you describe what it was like growing up in the Bronx? Uh, first and foremost, it was rough. Uh, for me, it's being a ball player and being in an environment that I was in. It was, just, it was, it was fun, but some days it was like, you got to get home at a certain time. But this is about to pop off or this is about to happen, so you got to be home. I mean, I, I enjoy that from the Bronx and I rep it to the fullest. Oh, my whole family played basketball, so I learned from all, all of them. Everybody went D1 and played at a high level, so I learned from all of them and stuff. And this kid in my neighborhood named Dwayne Hardy, he played at St. John's. So I used to look up to him when I was young and stuff, so I just taking everything that, that I learned. So what happened that day? When you tore your ACL, like what it just what went through your mind? Did you know right away when it happened? No, I didn't know what happened. Uh, I was just shocked. I, honestly, I know I, I thought I dislocated my knee, but that you get popped back in, so that's what I tried to do, but I couldn't do it. And I don't know. I tried to get up and walk in there. It felt like I was walking on fire, so I knew something bad happened. Then the next day I got an MRI and they told me I tore my ACL, and then that whole week. I just like, oh, my knee was so sore, I couldn't walk, couldn't do anything. So I was just in bed for the whole week. Then I got up, just had to rehab to get surgery. After surgery, had to rehab to come back. What were you thinking like when that happened? Were you um, worried that you weren't going to be drafted or that you weren't going to be able to go to that level because of the injury? I was a little nervous because I, I didn't even know. I thought, my, I thought it was over for me because that's the, the knee right there is every ball player's. Like nobody, nobody wish that anybody. Like it's the worst thing to happen, you blow your knee out. Right. So I thought it was old for me, but then I started rehabbing, working hard to get back. I see I started coming back a little sight into my name in the draft. I feel like I had a good opportunity to do it, so right. it worked out in my favor. My man Cole right here. What's up? What's up guys? My man Rich Homie. What's up guys? That's my man Dre. <laughs> Smooth Dre. Smooth Dre. <laughs> yeah, you seen that video? USA camp, Kyrie did some type of layup. Like he split it. And that's when just went in. Ooh. He did it like 10 times too. Like that? Yeah, it's just like that. That's crazy. But he did it higher off the glass. There you go. We at the club. Been 
we're gonna be going to Dyke Man. Can you just talk about like what the environment is like and have you played in summer league basketball out here before? Oh, uh, the environment is hostile. <laughs> if you if you're not up to your A game, they own you. It's fun to play around. It's a great atmosphere. A lot of people come out and watch the game and stuff like that. A lot of NBA players come and play. Uh, what else can I say? I played in it myself a couple years ago. I haven't played yet, but I'll be there today, though. Yeah. Oh, them Superman socks is working. You know what I mean? Some of the time, I'm going to be getting that money time. Yes, shoot me, drop. I got shoot me. Spits like, hey, get mama can't save me. Mama can't save you now. We got Jackman right now. One time of the right, hey, excuse me. Back channel, one time. Good, 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 good night. One time, excuse me. One time, big I told you. You don't go like this if you ain't in the big club. Big was stopping. See ya. Have life to defend the champs. Ho ho, you got my Cali girl hey, out here. What's going on? Oh, on be State, you remember? CM5 here. Gotta put it on your back now. Let's go get the defending chip down for now. Excuse me. 